Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to play around with some video effects. Kind of something like this. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay, let's get into this. Before we get started, I'd like to put a little asterisk disclaimer. This is kind of tricky and takes a bit of creativity. Okay, so first what we're gonna need is actually a piece of video and a good piece of music with, I think with good delineation of beats. So you, you know where you wanna do your jump cuts. From there, just a matter of uh, slicing and dicing and lining them up with the music. Okay, let's get into it. So I do have a piece of video down here. It's the same thing I showed earlier. And what I'm gonna do is mute the clip. So now I have uh, just this uh, right clip right here. And what I'm gonna do is grab my music Drop it down in here. And I kind of want to go to the point where I know there's the music is good. So let's do that. And before we go any further, let's make it so that you can see and then I can see better. If you notice, I often maximize the size of my uh, clips. And that's just so I can actually see the waveforms of the audio and I can match it up a little bit better. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is listen to the music and listen for good spots. And if you wanna put markers on where the spots are, you can hit the M key as it goes. Okay, so that's basically once you put these markers, you can kinda of move them around. And that'll kinda of tell you where you wanna split your, your clip. So this one's dun, dun, dun. So it's gonna be like three. Basically, those are the three points I kinda wanna split. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm gonna do a cut. You can either right click and split, or you can do that Command B, which I, I will do. So let's do that Command B there. And then you're also looking at the waveform down here, yeah? So that's basically where you want it to, to switch. And then we'll do one more right there. Okay, so now it's um dun dun dun. Okay, so that's probably good enough for now, and I'll probably I'll do a couple more. So let's move it here, and then from there we can actually start uh, doing some of the special effects. So what I'll do is I'll fast forward this here, and I'll catch you in a second. Okay, that should be enough to play with for now. And what, for now, I'm going to uh, lower the volume temporarily so I can do the actual uh, editing without the noise interrupting me. Okay, so let's get into it. So what you're going to need to do is figure out your first clip. We'll leave that normal. And then the first jump here, uh, we're going to go over here to the right side where these three overlapping circles are. And you'll see clip filter and audio effects. What we're going to do is use clip filters here. And there's multiple things you can do here. So we'll just start by going through a few of them. And we'll start with an extreme one here. So we'll get that one there. So now we know that the first one's normal, then it jumps to that. And let's grab another one for the third one. Something that kind of uh, x-ray, let's do x-ray. And for the third one here, let's do this one and for the next one let's just grab uh, what's a good one I guess that one okay so now I'll turn up the music a little bit again and go ahead and watch okay so we have a little bit all right so from here, let's do a couple more and I'll forward it again. And we'll be right back. Okay, so let's have a look real quick. Okay, so now we've basically got, you know, 10, 12, whatever clips here. And we have them switching with the clip filters or the, the special effects. So that's one thing you can do if you want to just do it easily without doing any other editing whatsoever. So you, 
you put the chop points wherever the beat hits and then you alter you click on the clip here you go to the three uh, circles and then you pick your actual filter you want to use on each of the clips and it'll change with the music and that's kind of a pretty cool thing to do but if you want to kind of level it up there's some other things you can do and let's go ahead and I'll show you a few of those and then we'll wrap up this video okay once you have all your clips all cut up to the music and the kind of the special effects or the clip filters that you put on it now it's time to kind of mess around with the look and feel of the clip so you don't get kind of bored of the same look so when the music changes, the background changes bigger smaller a little bit to the right a little bit to the left flip it upside down and kind of get you know like a visual effect or or something going on you can make this look pretty good or you can overdo it and make it look kind of tacky but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do it and then you can kind of experiment with what you want to do and get that look you want so i've already cut these up and i have different effects on them now what i'm going to do is start with normal and then the first one i'm actually going to zoom it in just a little bit so i'll click on the clip in question i'll go to the cropping tool here we'll do that crop to fill and i'll zoom in on it and what it'll do is make it bigger so now let me turn this sound down so it doesn't interrupt us so it goes from regular jumps out and it jumps back so i'm gonna do the next one i'll probably do another crop to fill but i want it to be a little bit maybe off center okay we'll do that so let's see how that looks okay so now we're getting a little bit of movement and then one of these i'm actually gonna let's find a really quick one yeah we'll do this this once this uh fraction of a second one let's go in and uh flip the bugger upside down <laughs> okay <laughs> And again, I'm just showing you what you can do. You don't have to do it. Okay. And we can even um, go into the effects and actually reverse one of these. We'll flip it. So it kind of goes backwards and forwards. Okay. Maybe I don't like the upside down one, actually, now that I think about it. But you can do upside down if you really want to. Uh, let's do this. We'll go... Uh, crop the fill. I'll make it really big and pop out. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. And then even some clips you might want to speed up, like the last one. Let's cut it a couple more times. I don't have this cut to the music, but the last one, I kind of want to speed out. So we'll go to the the little gauge here. We'll go to fast, and we'll put this on 20 times fast. So it'll be like. <laughs> Well, it might be too fast. Let's go to eight times. That's probably good enough. Okay, so it ends with the clip and then it speeds off. So if you can imagine, just think of, of ways that, depending on the video clip, how you want it to look. Maybe you want to even freeze frame it for like a fraction of a second. Let's find a good place to freeze frame it. Like right here, you can right clip and add a freeze frame. So what it'll do is it'll take, it'll be moving, then it'll stop, and then it'll keep going. But it depends on the music, and I would probably shorten this up to, you know, maybe like a second or a fraction of a second. Yeah, let's make it a little bit less than that. And you might even want to zoom in on that one piece there so you can have a really good look at the car or whatever you're videoing all right so let me turn the music up a little bit and this one's probably not timed anymore but at least it'll give you an idea of uh, what's going on here okay so you see me messing around with the clip and you kind of moving in, moving out, moving it right to left, flipping it upside down, right to left. So you have all these tools up here that you can kind of mess with. And what I usually mostly do is I'll do the cropping, zooming in, zooming out. I'll speed up, slow down. And sometimes I'll flip the clip. And also you can rotate it. Perhaps you want to do that. Let's crop the fill. And we'll give like that much of it.
Well, I think that's enough messing around with these uh, special effects here in iMovie. And I hope this tutorial kind of helps you get the hang of uh, some things that you can do to make your videos look a little bit better. Again, this is just an exercise here to show you what you can do. Um, use it sparingly, but then, you know, find the right clip and then figure out what you can do. And I think you can make your videos look pretty dope. All right, I think we're done. And as usual, thanks for watching. Peace and aloha. See you next time. Yeah.